This is Bear Hill Shire. This is a Bear Hill Shire training video. I am Sir Aiden McBarrow of the Corag Soldier Division. I am a Knight Sergeant of the 1st Squad of the 1st Battalion of the Bear Hill Army. Today I am presenting the 1542 Battle of Solway Moss between King James V of Scotland and King Henry VIII of England. England and Scotland were fighting because of a religious dispute between King Henry VIII's Protestant movement and the Catholic Church. So what happened was King Henry VIII asked King James of Scotland to come down to England to discuss the whole religious dispute. King James failed to attend. So Henry ordered his men to go up into the northern part of Scotland and raid the towns and villages. King James retaliated by sending 15,000 men to go down into, Cum into North northern England in Cumbria and raid. Lord Robert Maxwell led the Scottish army, which had between 15 to 18,000 men. I am only showing 15,000. The English army was led by Sir Thomas Wharton, who commanded the infantry, and Sir William Musgrave, who commanded the cavalry. The English had 3,000 men there at Solway Moss. Each piece is represented by the number of 500 men. Then it was broken up into two sections, the infantry and the cavalry. Lord Robert Maxwell led the Scottish army, which had between 15 to 18,000 men. I am only showing 15,000. The Scottish objective was to go down to northern England and raid their towns, just like the English had raided their towns. The English goal was to either stop or slow down the Scottish aggressors from crossing to the... The English cavalry charged the Scottish left flank. The cavalry charged in but had no effect on the Scottish lines, so they were swung back around and charged, the, charged them again repeatedly. While the English cavalry was harassing the Scottish flank, King James V sent Lord Oliver Sinclair to replace Lord Robert Maxwell as commander of the Scottish army. Lord Maxwell disputed Lord Sinclair's claim to the command of the army. Lord Sinclair's claim to the command of the Scottish army threw the Scottish forces into disarray because they didn't know who to take orders from, Maxwell or Sinclair. Because of this disarray, this allowed the English cavalry to push the Scottish forces into the marshy ground near River Ath. This is a representation of the Scottish forces being moved by the cavalry. While the Scottish forces were being driven into the marshy ground by the cal by the English cavalry, uh, not all bunched together like that, Sir Wharton moved his infantry to the hill of Arthurston Howe, where the Scottish could see them. When the Scottish saw Sir Wharton's troops on the top of Arthurston Howe, some 2,000 men, they believed that it was the vanguard of a larger English force. Meanwhile, the English cavalry was continuing to drive the Scottish forces toward the River Esk. Oh. The combination of the cavalry drive and the sight of the new English infantry caused the Scottish ranks to break. The Scottish broke formation and it was every man for themselves trying to get across the river. The losses for the Scots were a few hundred dead due to drowning trying to escape. 1,200 were captured by the English, but though not many were dis were uh, killed during the cavalry charges.
This has been a production of Bear Hill Films.